good evening or good early morning, whatever it, time it is. Everybody, JJ, ramblings about Comic Sense stuff. Uh, post Comic Con edition. Because, yes, San Diego Comic Con 2023 is over. And uh, as always, it was amazing. Amazingly awesome. A lot of fun. A little bit of work. But fun work. So I guess it was all fun, right? But yeah, so from the balcony here, you can see uh, a bar across the street uh, has it going on, as you can hear. But the streets are uh, quieter. A lot of the uh, attendees. Comic-Con have gone home or to bed except for me I'm uh, I'm still here in fact I'm gonna be here for another day because uh, as I mentioned I think in past videos I'm actually uh, gonna do a cooling off day here in town and tomorrow night uh, I'm gonna go to a ball game down at Petco Park Padres playing the Pirates uh, tomorrow. Before that, I may go to may go up to Balboa Park, but I might just sleep in too. Don't know. Got to figure that out. So um, yeah. So I thought I'd just take a moment while I'm still awake and uh, maybe maybe do a recap uh, of uh, the events of. Uh, Comic-Con. Stand by. So, yeah. Comic-Con 2023. Like I said, amazingly awesome. Awesomely amazing. Take your pick. Um, so, yeah. So, so, for those who weren't aware... I did some work out here on behalf of Comic Book Resources, CBR, who I write uh, news for currently. And we did some uh, coverage of Comic-Con. And this year we did a little something different. We, uh, we live tweeted uh, several of the more noteworthy panels from inside Comic-Con. And I live covered uh, Six, right? I think. Um, so on uh, on uh, what day was it? Thursday, man. It seems like a long time ago. On Thursday, uh, I cup I covered a couple different DC Comics panels, and one of them one of them was uh, they called it the Gotham City panel. It was basically their Batman panel. And uh, they did they did make some announcements in there, uh, comic wise. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. They there it's going to be a new Batman arc coming up where Batman somehow gets possessed by a demon and he's tooling around Gotham as a demon. We'll see what happens. So we uh, we broke that news. Um, there was another DC panel that day that was a little more informal. That was their publisher and uh, chief creative officer, Jim Lee, just kind of uh, doing some sketches for fans live and just kind of shooting the stuff with them. <laughs> Friday. Friday was, Friday was the fun day. So Friday... I covered a panel in Hall H. That was AMC's The Walking Dead. And uh, as everyone knows, as I've mentioned, writer's strike, actor's strike, uh, kept all the stars from uh, appearing out here. But nonetheless, AMC did hold a, uh, they rebranded it as a watch party in Hall H, which was very cool because they actually showed uh, some new content. They showed coolest was uh, for Walking Dead fans, the upcoming Daryl Dixon 
uh, spinoff, they showed the first half of the pilot episode, and it looks pretty cool. Daryl Dixon in, in France, and the walkers are just a little different there. I won't spoil it, but it's pretty wild. And then they showed a clip from uh, Dead City, the final episode, which just aired tonight. I just watched it, in fact. Really cool showdown between uh, Maggie and Negan, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and then they made um, announcements that uh, both those series have been renewed for a second season. And then they showed a uh, trailer for the upcoming uh, Rick and Michonne series, which starts next next year sometime. So, so that was fun. <laughs> and then, uh, what else did I do? Um, Oh, there was a uh, there was a um, there was a um, Superman uh, panel, and um, I'm getting my panels mixed up, gang. It's getting late. I'll tell you what. I I'll jump. I'll jump. Uh, I'll stay on Friday. There was the world premiere uh, for you DC Warner Brothers animation fans. A world premiere of the new Justice League War World which was pretty trippy. It was kind of an amalgamation of uh, Pulp Fiction and old spaghetti westerns and kind of War of the Worlds. It, it, it was pretty wild and it's, it's gonna lead into, it's gonna lead into uh, uh, a sequel of sorts that they announced after that screening uh, for Crisis on Infinite Earths, which comic fans know was DC's uh, continuity altering event story back in the 80s. So that'll be fun. Um, and then, uh, uh, oh yeah, on, on Friday I also covered, uh, uh, there was there was another DC panel where they uh, they, they announced, that was, uh, that was another Jim Lee panel, it was called, uh, I forget, but Jim Lee this time uh, made some announcements about what DC is going to be publishing and one of them, very, very cool. Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. Yes, that Godzilla, that King Kong versus Superman and Batman and the Justice League coming in October. Seven issue series. Not that's that's a comic, not an animated feature. Uh, that that was pretty cool. Breaking news to uh, to cover. Uh, so. That was Friday. Uh, Saturday. Um, Saturday. That was yesterday. So something really, something really cool came very, very cool, came very close to happening, and and and, and no one knows about this yet. But but I'll I'll tell you here. So uh, William Shatner was supposed to be a guest. Uh, and uh, he, he eventually uh, pulled out in support of the striking actors and writers. And, and that's cool. But, but there was going to be a uh, Hall H panel with him that, that we were going to cover and live tweet that because anyone who's ever seen or listened to William Shatner knows he's full of awesome Twitter worthy anecdotes. And, and that would have been a fun thing to cover. Uh, but um, sadly, that that did not happen. But truthfully, the, the panel did happen. He just didn't come to his own panel, so we we opted not to cover that, which was disappointing. Um, what well, the, the the cool part of it was, or would have been though, um, uh, amongst getting clearance to cover this show, uh, I I actually. Uh, I actually had landed an opportunity to interview him, uh, and 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 I was stoked about that. But that came and went because, uh, uh, I, I, long story short, I got I got green green lit to to, to interview him. Uh, but by the time I found out, he had already pulled out of the show. So uh, disappointing, you know. What if, you know, could have been a contender, ma. But uh, that's life. Uh, and then, and then uh, today, uh, 
had lunch with a couple friends. Hey Mitch, hey Amy, good to see you guys. And then I did my walkthrough video of uh, final day of the show, uh, one end of Hall A to Hall G. It took about a half hour, and that's already up on my YouTube. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Um, so, so yeah. I don't know what's going on down there, gang. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go inside and finish this up. Stand by again. Oh, hey. So, anyway, <clears throat> to resume. So, uh, it it was a uh, it was an awesome car, and um, a lot of fun uh, opportunity. Like I said, not all of it came to pass. But um, I always reflect back because when I when I do that walkthrough video, um, you know, and, and I walk out of there for the last time, you know, it's been I, I've been I've been coming to this show since 1994, and I've missed a few years, but but this this one was my 27th uh, San Diego Comic Con and. I just kind of realized how, how how blessed I am to be able to, um, to have come out here for, for, for all those years um, because it's not it's not an easy thing to do gang it's it's um, it's very difficult for the average fan to get a ticket uh, and even if they can um, they, they can't always get in for the, the full show so they they miss out on a lot of the, the panels or events that they might want to see um, and even if you can get a ticket to the show the, the whole hotel thing which we all call hotel apocalypse because um, you know it, it's like a lottery it, it's like spinning the wheel when you try to book book a hotel um, more often than not you come up empty and if you don't get a hotel you don't have anywhere to stay right you, you, you can't really come out to comic-con so and then if you do it's it's a very expensive um you know stay you know for for a lot of people so the fact that i've been able to do this for for going on 30 years just you know it it, it blows my mind sometimes and, and and i'm thankful that i'm in a situation where where i've been able to to do that um you know, you know, I, I, I hit 60 this year and, you know, I keep telling myself, you know, Comic-Con's a younger person's game, uh, you know, because I just can't, you know, I just can't run around that floor like I used to 30 years ago. And, you know, my feet feel it, my knees feel it, just, you know, endurance isn't there. That's part of getting old, folks. But... You know, it, it might be a younger person's game, but you know what? I still feel young at, at heart. And, you know, a good part of that is because of Comic-Con. I mean, it is just so much fun, so much mind-blowing, overwhelming fun. And and I always think, you know, should should this be it? Should this be the last year? And, and I walk out of it and I'm like, no, no, I don't, I don't want it to be. I mean, you never know what circumstance is going to bring up, but if I have my way, I, I, I'm going to keep on coming out here as, as, as many times as I can. And, um, you know, be, because I, I, I'm fortunate enough to be able to come here as an industry guy, you know, getting credentials are, you know, much easier than having to, uh, you know, apply and, and buy a ticket. And, uh, you know, the fact that, that um, you know, I ended up for this 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 apartment, JJHQ. It's not cheap, but it helped me bypass the whole hotel apocalypse thing. So it's it's a pretty penny to do it, but but I feel blessed that I that I can. So um, yeah, it it it's always amazing, and uh, the the opportunity that presents itself out here this year and past years um, is just amazing. So. So I'd love to come back, come come back when, you know, the, the strikes are settled and, and the, the showrunners and the writers and the 
the actors and everyone are back out here because it'll, it'll, it'll be completely mind-blowingly incredible like it always is, which it still was this year without them. So um, the, the, the one final observation I'll make is um, it seems as though, um, you know, the growth of Comic-Con over the past 20 years has largely been driven by Hollywood. You know, the, the presence of movies and, and, and TV studios, you know, has grown that. But this year kind of seemed to be kind of a what-if scenario where, you know, if if there were no Hollywood coming to Comic-Con, you know, in the pre-Hall H days, uh, you know, what would Comic-Con have been? And this this show kind of felt like that. This show was kind of like, all right, if, if, if Hollywood weren't a thing out here still, um, you know, the people who came out here before those days, um, you know, would, would still come out for, for, for the comics and the toys and, and the action figures and, and the gaming and all that. And, and I, I think that growth would have continued um, even without Hollywood. Um, I think just with the Hollywood presence, it grew faster. So, you know, I think this year's Comic-Con was kind of what it would have been, um, you know, without, without a Hall H. And, and, and it's kind of no different other than, you know, there, there's just, you know, there's no actors, there's, there's no celebrities. But, but, you know, on the comic front, it was amazing. And, and I think on the floor, a lot of people uh, who, who would normally have spent the day in Hall H decided to walk the floor and the comics area and in the, the retailers area was, was just packed on the days I was there. So I think, um, I, I, I think the show, um, kind of proved it, it, it could do well without Hollywood here. But with that said, love to have him back and, uh, love to get some more opportunity to cover some news on that front. So, so like I said, uh, ball game tomorrow. Might go to the park tomorrow afternoon. Who knows? Tuesday afternoon, flying back home, thankfully. So, so I think that's it, gang. So uh, I appreciate all of you who showed interest in all these videos for watching and taking the time and your comments and support. It's awesome. Everyone seems to dig it. I hope those of you who uh, weren't able to come out got some uh, some some enjoyment from this. Trying to live live it through your uh, your screen at least. Try to give you a taste of what it was like. Uh, as long as you guys all want it, I'll keep doing it. So, uh, but for now, um, for now, JJ will rest. So, uh, cheers. Here's to an awesome San Diego Comic Con 2023. And JJ is signing off. So have a good night, everybody. Have a good day. Thanks again. We'll see you soon. Take care. Be safe.